What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Morning God Game, and I'm back again with another video. Hey, man. So look, <laughs> this is the finale. Well, it's not even a finale. I'm still gonna react to Celine videos, but yo. Just to get the little the, the meat marinating, I'm reacting to her murder, Yolanda Saldivar. I never seen her interview. I don't know anything about this woman. All I know is that this is the woman that killed Selena Quintanilla Perez, the goat <laughs> of Latin music. I don't, uh, uh, if it's Latin music, I don't know, but like. The fact that you killed this person and like, like I only saw the little thumbnail of the video and her just demeanor just looks evil, bro. You could just see it in her face. Like she just don't care. Like she's, she just look crazy. And the fact that you just mess around and just woo, I'm going to shoot you. I don't even know, bro. Like the fact that you killed this woman and like, I guarantee you if she wasn't even involved in selena's life i guarantee you she selena will still probably be here to this day now i'm not saying i'm that that's probably not even true but like what if selena wasn't even dead like just think about it that's the crazy part and like anyway bro let's get into this foolishness because i'm about to start talking some ish in a minute if you know what i'm saying that's just what i do and let's just get right into the video g yolanda uh. salvador is serving a life sentence for the murder Selena Quintanilla Perez. Do you understand the loss of her to her fans? That's tremendous. What? And not only to them, but to me. Bruh. I know why you killed her. I won't discuss that. What? Why not? Because the truth is not out. So tell it. Not in a court of law. You've had your day in court. Why didn't you tell it then? Man. I was not given an opportunity to defend myself. Cat. I was represented, which is different. Yolanda, at that time, your life depended on it. Even the interview. If there is this information that if it doesn't exonerate you, at least gives context as to why Selena Quintanilla is dead, why would you not have demanded that that be presented in court to spare your life? If I knew then what I know now, you can rest assured that my trial wouldn't have gone the way it is. Right. It was. She's capping. I can assure you that. During the course of a two-hour interview, Yolanda was continually evasive, bolstering the public image that she's clever, cunning, and manipulative. While her conviction is on appeal, she's Yolanda's crazy. reluctance to answer certain questions is You can see it in her face. But then as the interview continues, she, don't she care. jumps at an opportunity to supposedly tell all. She don't care. This is a letter that your family has said you received here in prison. Is it? Mm-hmm. Behind the Music was given two letters by the Saldivar family prior to this interview. They are allegedly from a man named Lorenzo Salinas, who Yolanda says she and Selena met while doing business in Mexico in early 95. The Texas Department of Corrections confirms the letters were mailed from outside the prison. But during an exhaustive seven-month investigation, Behind the music, was unable to find Lorenzo Salinas or confirm his existence. He tells me exactly what I've been saying all along. Which is what? That he feels his conscience is killing him because he knows. But she's looking away. Do you not see that? that? She keep moving. He she keep doing this. Why? Why you keep looking away? And I have things. She, that she's stuttering over her words. Well. You're capping, you bro. You're lying. Say it all. And he don't even. He don't even believe, bro. I know he don't. I know he don't. Yolanda claims that two weeks prior to the murder, she discovered videotapes damaging to Selena's career, and that she had a diary of oh my corroborating God. information on the tapes. She keeps, she's she stuttering that, over her words, bro, and she just keeps looking away, to like. Up Yolanda to retrieve the tapes and diary. It's part of a plot to extort Y'all are so cat. Yolanda claims she was She's... attacked, but managed to get away. You know where those So you managed to get away by just shooting her. You know where that diary is now. I know where they're at. Yolanda contends they remain where she stashed them in a safe deposit box in Monterey, Mexico. Of course. Why is that information significant? 
to the death of Selena. Continue. Because that what? is what? many of the things that were discussed that day. Bro, shut It was not uh, about embezzlement. It was not about no upset fan or being fired. Cat. Had nothing to do with that. Cat. What Yolanda won't get killed is why, if she was protecting Selena, she instead killed her. Yolanda's uh, state of mind is an issue in this, in this case. San Antonio attorney Ramiro Estrada has been retained by the Saldivar family. He says while the information in Mexico may not this exonerate lady Yolanda, is it will crazy. somehow shed light on her state of mind she just looked crazy. in the days leading up to the murder. Estrada hopes the alleged evidence will open the door for a second trial and a reduced I smell sentence. jealousy. Yolanda <laughs> knows that she needs this information to be found. Yolanda empowered us. Why are you hiding this information? This evidence and behind the music accompanied him to Monterey, Mexico. Isn't there a chance, maybe even a pretty good chance, that Yolanda's lying to us about this evidence? Well, I think anything's possible, but you know, it would see it, it would serve no purpose. It would not help her to be to be. Alive. Yolanda and the Saldivar family directed Estrada to more than a half dozen different bank locations. I don't see what good it would do for her to be sending this on, on a wild goose chase. I mean, it's not, certainly not going to help her in a trial. But a wild goose Duh. chase it proved to be. There was no safe deposit box, no tape, no diary, no evidence. So You're disappointed that this evidence has been found. Sure. So sure. why did she say it's Following in a deposit the trip, box? Estrada revealed he intends to remove himself from Yolanda's case. Whether the extortion plot, videotapes, and diary are fact or Yolanda's fiction remains unknown and may never be known as Yolanda reveals in one smug answer. I guess I'll take it to my grave. In San Antonio, Yolanda Saldivar. A 31-year-old nurse who frankly didn't like Tejano music until she saw Selena perform started a fan club. Bro, that's how you know she lying. A nurse. Fan oh club. no! What was compelling? Bro, going through my college years. You know she lying. She just said, "I'll take it to the grave." I had not because I I devoted myself to my university, my career, my my license. Now it's time for me to have fun. What? So tell me about your first meeting. I was at meeting Whitney Houston. <laughs> at first, you sound upset. You Especially just sound upset. Selena Place, San Antonio. I was their gopher, so to speak, in San Antonio. But you loved it. Yes. It was a touch of celebrity. Well, actually, in San Antonio, Texas. Well, not only that, but it was because my friends. It was Suzette and it was Selena. I did for them. But you had to have enjoyed the fact that your friends were becoming such celebrities. With that too. At one time, my whole family liked Yolanda. You know, we would invite her to come eat at our house. We would have a get-together and so we'd invite her. It was that her friendship had grown from being just a fan celebrity type to this personal type of relationship. When Selena decided, made the decision to this is so cat. Up the boutiques. She needed someone to run them. Oh and my gosh. There was Yolanda, her trusted friend who would never let her down, who was always That's not there your friend. And I'm the one that suggested. Well, what about that girl that runs a fan club in San Antonio? She looks pretty, seems like a nice person. And that's how Yolanda came to the picture. It was then that she hired me in '94. You shouldn't have done that. No business experience. Even though I had no business experience. Yeah. You know, it's about retail, and that's basically, come on, you need retail 101 to manage a retail space. And I think that that's where things started to unravel. Yeah. Both Martin Gomez and Yolanda agree that from the very beginning, they are in each other's throat. Not just about business, but over access to Selena. Gomez contends the stage was being set for Selena to be deceived and controlled by an obsessive Yolanda. She's made it very clear to me that in order for me to speak to her, just speak to Selena, I have to go by her. He started seeing that his contact with Selena was becoming less and less. Martin says that the reason his time was less and less is because you were becoming obsessed with Selena. Facts. That's not true. Oh, you know, oh my God. Her popularity with people because of her association with Selena. Oh. And if anyone else was going to get closer to her, her to 
to Selena or, or get her ear, uh, that was a threat to Yolanda. And by virtue of being yeah, the she creator be. of these designs, Martin Gomez was a threat. By now, Gomez says Yolanda was trying to wrest control of Selena's life. It was neurotic. It was neurotic and it was strange. Weird. Um, Selena would come to visit and then she'd leave and she goes, oh, I miss her. I go, she just left. She didn't want to be bothered. Martin can understand that. So you're assuming a bigger role. Definitely. Could that role be construed as becoming obsessed? I don't know where people are getting this, that I'm obsessed with Selena. It, it was a duty that she oh my expected gosh. me to do. And I had to do it. I was starting to recognize her just basically being controlling and trying to manipulate Selena. I was I was starting to control, you know, I was trying to identify that and more than anything, I was going to Abraham with the information. Oh my See you God. you gotta understand that Martin and Yolanda uh, are like two women bickering at each other. While that bickering must certainly be wearing on Selena, Abraham stays clear of it had no problem with Yolanda until the beginning of 1995. Is that the beginning of the end of your relationship with Abraham? That becomes the fury of it all. That fury is about to spill over. You have vilified Dr. Martinez, Abraham Quintanilla. Why weren't those the people that were attacked? Why your best friend? There was never an intention to kill someone. Never. There was never an intention to do anything wrong to Abraham either. Bro, she seems like she sounds so calm and collective about this My interview. My was to relieve myself from all of that. You were going to kill yourself. Yes. But why did you end up killing your best friend? I didn't kill her. Dust in, bro. I really don't, <laughs> for one, I have nothing else to watch. Like, it's right, yo, yo. She seems too, you seem too calm and collective to talk about killing somebody. She's saying it wasn't intentional to kill her. So why'd you kill her? And then you're saying you didn't kill her. My point exactly. You killed this woman that was in her prime at that just getting started. Just just getting started, G. She was just getting started in her music career. She already made hits at all at the age of 23 years old. And then Whoop, well, she ain't here no more because that woman just said, okay, let me, let me just kill her, like, uh, that's just weird, bro, like, that interview was odd, like, I'm just looking at her, and I'm just saying, like, she don't care, she don't care, I just look at her demeanor, bro, like, she's just, like, she's crazy, bro, like, nah, and I see why the Kentonia family was so close and really didn't trust no outsiders, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, that really got me thinking. It's sad. Like, that's sad to me. That's sad. Like, I don't even know what else to talk about, bro. Like, that's, I might as well just, I'm in this video, bro. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. R.I.P. to Selena Perez, man. What a legend. Salute to you. Salute to you, bro. Like, salute to her, bro. That's crazy. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, man. Morning, God Game sign out, man. I love y'all. Peace.